Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Elle and today I'm going to be doing a video where I tried about 12 books that I want to read in 2024. So I did not want to do 24 books to read in 2024 because I feel like that is such a commitment, but I feel like 12 books, one for each month of the year is pretty manageable. So I have some books on this list that I'm really excited to read either that I didn't get to in 2023 or that I'm just really excited to read in 2024. So let's get right into this video. The first book I have on this list is Black Hills by Nora Roberts. I am really excited to get into Nora Roberts' backlist. I know that Jess from Peace Love Books has been reading a lot of her books lately and this is one of her favorites. Jess is one of her favorites from Nora Roberts. I don't even know what this is about. It says that a summer at his grandparents' South Dakota ranch is not 11-year-old Cooper Sullivan's idea of a good time, but things are a bit more bearable now that he's discovered the neighbor girl, Little Chance, and her homemade batting cage. Even horseback riding isn't as awful as Coop thought it would be. Each year when Coop's annual summer visit, their friendship deepens from innocent games to stolen kisses, but there's one shared experience that will forever haunt them. The terrifying discovery of a hiker's body. As the seasons change and the years roll by, Lil remains steadfast at her, to her aspiration of becoming a wildlife biologist and protecting her family land. While Coop struggles with his father's demand that he attend law school and join the family firm. Twelve years after they last walked together hand in hand, fate has brought them back to the Black Hills. When the people and things they hold most dear need them most. Ooh, that sounds really good. So I know that this is like romantic suspense, suspense, and I love romantic suspense. So I'm really excited for this book. Sorry, like the light is just doing things to this book right now. But I am so excited to read this. I love romantic suspense. And I know that Nora Roberts is like the queen of romantic suspense in her books. And so I'm really excited to dive into this one in 2024. And I found this copy at a half price books. So I accidentally got on Amazon like the large print copy so it's like super super big I'm like I don't need that when I tried to order the paperback I mean the hardback on Amazon so I found a good copy at half price books but I'm really excited to get to this one in 2024 then I have Pucking Around by Emily Rath this is a hockey why choose romance so I think she says I can't fall for a player let alone three my name is Rachel Price and two months ago I walked away from the perfect man, blah, blah, blah. I was wrong. It turns out Mr. Perfect is the playboy grinder for the Jacksonville Rays, the NHL's hottest new hockey team, and I'm his new physical therapist. Ooh, okay. That sounds really good. So it's only three guys, which sounds really good. I don't love when a wide choose romance has like so many guys because then I feel like I can't keep track of all of them. So three sounds perfect. And I know this has been making its rounds on TikTok, but... I'm definitely in more of like a sports romance mood right now, so I really am excited to get to this white shoes hockey romance. The next romance on this list is Parallel by Elle Rourke, O'Rourke, and I read one book by her before that I really, really liked. Honestly, I cannot remember what the name of the book is, but it was so good. It was like forbidden, angsty, it was so good. And I know she has this other series that's another really angsty series, so I need to get into her backlist, but this is a book that I've had on my TBR for years now. And this one I've heard is very, very angsty. The heroine and hero have been dreaming about each other for years, but they have never seen each other in real life. They're like, you're just in my dreams. And I think she is engaged, or maybe he is. I can't really remember who is engaged, but one of them like time travels to their time and they see each other and they have so much attraction and yeah oh okay she has a power she doesn't understand he may be the key to unlocking it one who knows things about him no one else does blah blah, blah. so i don't remember which character is engaged but that doesn't really matter it's just very angsty and i love a little like time travel in a romance like Callie Reed series the surviving trace series i love that series and it is so good. It's so angsty. That's like one of my favorite series of all time. But I'm really excited to get to this one and hopefully I'll enjoy it. And I have Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher. This is a new 
book and a new series that she is coming out with that came out this year and I think the rest of the series is coming out in 2024 and I think I remember Julian from um what was it called final offer he was like this like architect and I remember really liking his character and I think oh okay so it's set in Lake Wisteria which is where final offer is which is this like small town and I think it might be second chance and um okay says my childhood rival and family friend of me i vow to steer clear of him while recovering from my broken engagement but then the billionaire makes an irresistible offer renovate a historic house together and triple our profits our temporary truce becomes compromised as we face years worth of denied attraction and mixed emotions giving in to our desire is inevitable but falling in love that isn't part of the plan Ooh, this sounds so good and I'm so happy I got like the Barnes and Noble like embroidered edition and so I'm really excited for this one. I am so excited. It sounds so good. I have Next to You by Hannah Bonham Young. I have not read a book yet from this author and this book has been on my TBR for a year now and I really want to get to it. I think they it's like they have to work together on like this bus together or I don't really remember I don't remember what this book is about but it says Lane is in the middle of an identity crisis her friends are all partnered up her career is leading nowhere and simply put she's not happy blah 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 so it's friends to lovers and okay, so it's friends to lovers and they like help each other out in the bedroom and they're working on like renovating a bus together so this sounds really good he's a mechanic and yeah, I've heard really good things about this author and I really need to get to this series. We have The Worst Kept Secret by QB Tyler. This is her latest release, or no, she has a new release coming out that just came out. But this is a forbidden age gap romance, of course. And I think this is um, Best Friend's Dad romance. And I think they had like a kiss before in the past. I'm not really sure, but I'm really excited to get to this one. I love this cover. It's just so pretty. And I love Kibi Tyler, so I really need to get to this release from her. And I have Rewriter Story by Kat Singleton. This is a small town romance. I think a second chance as well. Like, I think they were together, um, and he, he was her best friend's older brother. And I think, yeah, so they were second chance small town romance. This sounds really good. And I really like the cover. It's really, really pretty. So I'm excited for this one. Um, I need to read Cat Singleton before May because I'm going to be going to the Wild and Windy event, which I'm so excited about in Chicago, and she's going to be there. So I need to read this beforehand, but I'm really excited for this one and to dive into Cat Singleton's books. Okay, so the next book I have is Salt Kiss by Sarah Simone. This is a I think polyamorous romance and this is the first book in the trilogy but I think at first it's only between the two guys and then the girl comes in later but I honestly don't know what this book is about. I think it is why choose no not why choose it's polyamorous and um I've heard it's kind of like forbidden and people have been really really enjoying this one so I'm excited to read that and then oh okay and then the next book I have is Among the Heather by Samantha Young. This is the second book in this like Highlander series she has. I read the first book in December which is Beyond the Thistles and I loved that book. It was so so good. It's like Scottish Highlands and that book was amazing and I think this is the second book in the series and I think it has to do with maybe the owner of like this manor where the whole like kind of series revolves around and this actor that is having to run away from like the press and kind of find solitude in the manor. And so far the series, the first book had a lot of romantic suspense in it. So hopefully this one will too. But I am excited to read this book and I want to listen to it on audio because I read the first one on audio and I love the narrator. He had like a Scottish accent and I loved it. So I'm really excited for this one. And I have Diana Quincy's newest release, which is The Duke Gets Desperate. This is a new historical romance from her, and I think it's Hate to Love, and it's a new series as well. And I think the heroine and hero both 
get like custody of this like castle thing and I think they like fight over who like actually has custody of it but I've heard it's really spicy um, for Diana Quincy and really really good so I'm excited to read that one Then I have something wild and wonderful by Anita Kelly this is a MM road trip romance and I'm really excited for this one I've heard it's really emotional and just really really good and I did not get to it in 2023 so I need to read it in 2024 and the last book is the rest of the story by Tal Barb this is a MM hockey romance and I think they both have to join like a team where one of them was like on a rival team maybe I don't really remember but I've heard it's very emotional and angsty and I'm really excited to get into more hockey romances in 2024 because I'm just in the mood for hockey romances specifically. But that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed hearing me chat about some books that I am really dying to read in 2024. And I want you to let me know down below what you want to read in 2024. Like what's your 2024 TBR? Because I would love to know. Um, but I want to thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in my next one.